Hey, how's it going? It's Jose Reyes, and we recently spoke on the phone in regards to me recording a short video for you, showing you some simple steps on how to improve your online presence. So, this video is going to be a little different because normally what I do is I do an analysis of your website. However, after researching for a couple minutes, I didn't see any websites that you guys have. So, for this video, I'll be using your, your competition's website, and I'll pretty much show you why exactly they're able to be found by a lot of customers and i'll give you the blueprint of what they're doing so you can do yourself once you decide to have a website for your business so let's get this video started so we're going to be going over to google and for this video we'll be focusing on the keyword of landscape in orlando so according to one of my tools the keyword of landscape in orlando is search an average of 250 times per month obviously as you can see down here there's many other keywords you can target, but the whole point of this video is to keep it short and simple and easy for you to understand. But the same method applies for you know all the other keywords. So the first thing you see when you search for a keyword like landscape in Orlando is the sponsor section, which are essentially ads. The Google Business Profile section, so it features the top three most optimized profiles for that type of service. And then is the organic listing. So two facts I'll give you about this area. So 70% of traffic that searches something on Google tends to stay in the organic section. And the other 30 tends to stay above the organic section. So they'll most likely click on a ad or the map pack itself. So the whole point of this video is to show you the, the importance of an online presence. So before I show you what kind of results your competition is getting and how they're doing it, ask yourself this. When was the last time you searched something on Google and went to the second page, third page? Probably never. And if you did, it was a super rare occurrence. We love convenience as humans. So that's what's very essential for at the bare minimum for you to be featured on the top three organic listing or in the math pack. So let's head into one of your competitors, which is uh, Lans Flamingo Landscapes. And right off the bat, a couple of things why they're ranking on the top two right now. I can tell you that their site title is called Landscaping Orlando, which helps them get found relevant for this keyword. And their meta descriptions also has relevant information related to this keyword. Now let's go to their website. So whenever you create a website, the most important thing is content. So for when it comes to content, you wanna have around a thousand words of content on your homepage. And right now I can tell you right off the bat that this website has around like 500 words of content. So if you have a thousand words of content on your website, you should be able to beat them in that area. Another important factor when it comes to content is having those keywords. So you want to have keywords in your content and you want to have those keywords in your files. And the way you can have keywords in your file is by saving your images on those keywords. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to right click here, hit save as, bam. So as you can see, this image they have here it's saved under Landscaping Company Orlando. So when Google crawls through your website, it doesn't care about your design at all. It actually cares about the content. It crawls through it and it sees if it's relevant to this keyword that people are searching for. And if it's relevant, the higher you rank. So when it comes to ranking on Google, content is king, but it's not the only influential factor. The next influential factor is backlink. So once again, normally I will show you a data of your website, but since you don't have one, I'll be using your competitor. So pretty much to summarize what a backlink is, it's pretty much a link in a different website. And once you click on it, it'll take you to yours. So let me just show you real quick. I'm going to this website. They have a backlink, backlink from here. So Flamingo, oh, Flamingo. So here it is. They have a link here. Once I click on it, bam, took me to their website. So that's pretty much what a backlink is. So since I mentioned that, you have to be really careful where these backlinks are coming from because sometimes with websites they're spammy and they can hurt your ranking. So you want to make sure you prioritize quality over quantity in order to be considered an authority on the Google's eyes. So as you can see, this website is generating about 145 organic traffic per month, which is really amazing. And the best thing about this tool is it makes research really easy. It tells me what keywords are relevant in Orlando. It tells me how much traffic they're getting for those keywords. So as you can see, they're generating about 34 organic traffic per month from the keyword landscape Orlando, 15 from the 
Orlando Landscaping, another 11 from Landscape Companies Orlando, and so on. You get the idea. Same thing with this one. This is the other competitor. They're generating about 258 organic traffic per month. And it tells me the same thing, how much traffic they're getting from those uh, keywords. So, so as you can see, having an online presence is essential to be discovered by potential clients. It's definitely a key in today's age to keep growing your business and keep expanding your service to other areas. So the last topic I'll be going over is um, citations. So there's many different things you have to do in order to rank your profile in the top three of Google Maps. However, citations are the most influential. So what exactly is a cita citation? So pretty much websites like Facebook, Yelp, Angie's List, Yellow Pages, etc., where you can post your business profile with your business name, business address, and business phone number, and that must match your Google business profile. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video informative. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out back to me. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.